How you doing everyone? Turkey Buzzard here. Hope you're having a good day. Well, I'm here in the middle of nowhere because it was brought to my attention that a few people are having problems figuring out how to use the Conquest mod. So I thought I'd come out here and start a new settlement and show you how to use the Conquest mod, which is really pretty easy. When you download the mod in your Pip-Boy, if you look in the aid section, you'll see action build campsite. If you click on that, it'll tell you to close your pit boy. Once you do, it will allow you to place a duffel bag. And if the duffel bag is green, you can place it. If it's red, you can't place it there. It's important to note that if you're using this mod, to expand a settlement that you already have, you need to place this as close to that settlement as you, as you are allowed. Once you place it, it will automatically open the workshop mode for you. Once you're in the workshop mode, you'll notice that you're allowed to build certain things. Notice the campfire. So if you want, you can build a campfire because you don't have to build a settlement. You can just camp here if you want. But there's other items in there if you decide you want to build them. However, you got to have the materials with you in order to build a lot of this stuff. If you don't have the material to build it, then you can't build it. Now, I made sure to bring the materials with me to build a workbench. Takes 15 steel, 4 gears, and 4 screws. Once you place this workbench, then you will automatically create a new settlement. And again, if you're going to expand an existing settlement, I would place this as close to that settlement as possible because the placement of the workbench determines your build area. Once you place it, it will open a screen to allow you to name your new settlement. And you're allowed to build up to 10 settlements. And let's say I call this Wharton Outpost. It'll automatically update your map. And if you look in your pit boy, you'll notice Wharton Outpost is now on the map. So it's pretty easy to build a settlement and once you place that and you open your workshop mode, depending on where you are, you may or may not be able to scrap a lot of the junk around that area. Now because I'm out here in the middle of <laughs> nowhere, you'll notice that I'm not really allowed to really scrap anything. Pretty much everything is going to stay here. Now where I'm building at the moment for my video this week is right next to a settlement. I was allowed to scrap tons of stuff there. But being that this is way out in the middle of nowhere, I couldn't, uh, I couldn't scrap anything here. But in order to build, you're going to have to have materials. And you can access your workshop the same way you do any workshop by clicking on it and it'll open your workshop mode. And again, you can move your workbench around or whatever. But where you originally place it is the center of your build area. So depending on where you're at, you want to make sure where you place that. Notice there's no X. If you want to get into your workbench, you have to go into transfer. And it'll allow you to transfer items from your inventory into the workshop or vice versa. 
and if you want to dissolve the settlement and no longer have a settlement there that's what you can do and it tells you that you know whatever you've built here if you leave it there and dissolve the settlement that stuff stays and uh, if you dissolve the settlement anything in the workbench is automatically transferred to your inventory so if you've got a ton of stuff in the workbench and you dissolve your settlement all that stuff goes into your inventory and you're going to be grossly overweighted. But if you decide to scrap the settlement, you'll notice that the workbench is still there. If you activate on the workbench again, it'll ask you if you want to create the settlement again or scrap the workbench. I scrapped the workbench, so this settlement is no longer here. So that's it. It's pretty simple, pretty easy. I hope that helped you out. If it did, uh, please be sure to leave a like. And as usual, subscribe for more videos. And check out my video this week because I'm actually using this mod in that video. So thanks for watching and see you soon.